hello everyone welcome back to my channel lazy bay designs on this tutorial so i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful shirt dress with front pocket so stay connected as we get started So the materials I'll be needing for my dress are my lining fabric, tape measure, pencil for markings, ruler and then my African fabric. Okay, so I'll be folding the fabric into two like this, meaning I'll be cutting on fold. I'll make sure any lines meet or matches correctly. Okay, so I'll be using the hip measurement to cut throughout. The hip measurement is 40 inches. So 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 inches plus 2 inches as my seam allowance making 12 inches. Great. And then dress length is 38 inches plus 2 inches as my seam allowance making 40 inches. I'll then mark out. I wanted the edge of the fabric to be at the very hem of the dress. Okay, so I will take from the I will take from the edge to the top. Okay, so I'll mark my 40 inches and then connect with my ruler. Great, I'm about to cut the neckline. So the width and the length of the neckline is 3 by 3 inches. Then the length of the shoulder line is 5 inches. Okay, so I marked my five inches allowance has been added okay so i'll then come down nine inches that's the armhole length nine inches okay i'll be sloping the shoulder line about half inch so i'll be remaining with 8.5 great i'll then cut out and then cut my back as well Okay, so I'm about to cut the back. I then place the front onto the fabric pieces and then left one inch as my zip allowance. So after cutting out the back, I'll then cut out the front pocket. Great. The measurement for the pocket is nine inches by eight inches. Okay. Please, it's on fold because I'll be cutting two of that. But since it's on fold, I'm cutting just one. Afterwards, I'll divide it into two. So nine by eight inches. It has already been marked. So I'm cutting out. So after cutting out, I'll then slash it into two. I'm getting my pocket for the left and then the right. The next thing to do is to cut out my sleeves. The length of the sleeves is 8 inches and then around arm is 13 inches. So 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5. 6.5 plus my 1 inch as my ease. That is 7.5 and then 1 inch as my sewing allowance. That is 8.5. So I'll be cutting out 8.5. Okay. So as you can see i cut out two afterwards i'll notch to be in it to enable me match it with my shoulder line okay after cutting out i'll then cut out my lining pieces i'll let the fabric the main fabric exceed the lining pieces like one inch so that when i sew the lining will pull inside in order not to show out okay great i'll then cut out and then cut the same thing on my back pieces so before after cutting out the lining pieces i'll then cut out my fusible interfacing that is stiff or violin i'll cut it out to fuse the lining fabric to stabilize it because at the front of the shirt dress i'll be making a vein neck okay so the fusible the interfacing 
will help it stabilize it. Great, I'll go ahead and then iron it after cutting out. But I'll be cutting out for only the front. But you can also cut out for both the front and then the back. Great, this is what I'll be having after cutting out. I'll then place it on it this way. I'll make sure where the sh where it's shiny or the shiny part faces the cloth or faces the lining this way. Okay, so this is what I'll be having after ironing. The next thing to do is to place it on my African fabric, making sure the right side of each faces each other. So this is the right side of the African print. I'll be placing the right side of the lining on it making sure the fusible interfacing faces me rather i'll then go ahead and then so have an inch at the neckline come down for about three inches and then come up again in a vein shape but the vein shouldn't be too open or else afterwards you find it in a way that you wouldn't like so the vein can be very small so that when you turn to the right side you get something nice afterwards i'll bring the lining downwards to the hem of the main fabric and then sew half an inch and then turn to the right side great so this is my back pieces i'll then divide the back pieces into two and then divide the lining pieces into two as well good so after dividing I will then place the right side of each African print facing me. Afterwards, I will place the lining fabric onto the right side of the African print. I will then go ahead, sew the hem of the dress half an inch, pull it up like this. That is after sewing. Pull it up and then sew the neckline and then the zip area great so this is what i'll be having after sewing the hem the zip line and then the neckline i'll then put put the right side of each pieces together like this okay i'll then indicate my zip line one inch by the use of my pins great so this is what i'll be having after indicating my zip allowance i'll then open it and then place the right side of the front pieces together afterwards okay so this is the front after creating my vein neck and then turning to the right side I will then open the back pieces, making sure the right side faces me, and I'll place the right side of the front pieces on it. Afterwards, I'll go ahead and then sew the shoulder line half an inch. So I'll open the front shoulder line and then open the back shoulder and then go ahead and then sew half an inch all around. Great. So this is what I'll be having after sewing the shoulder line half an inch. I'll then go ahead and then fix good I'll go ahead and then fix my sleeves but before that I'll then fold the sleeves I'll double fold the edge of the sleeves and then top stitch I'll do the same thing on the other side afterwards I'll place the right side of each together like this making sure the notch i i created on the sleeves matches the shoulder line and then i'll sew all around great this is what i had after attaching my sleeves but i didn't finish the side and side i'll i'll, I'll first of all attach my pocket the front pocket before finishing the side and side great so attaching the front, I measured from the shoulder line downwards 18 inches. From the shoulder line downwards 18 inches. 
okay so 18 inches was okay great so I'll mark 18 inches and then mark 18 inches on the other side as well great I'll then go ahead and double stitch the very top of the pocket this way so I'll stitch on it afterwards I'll fold just one and stitch at the side fold just one and stitch at the hem and then the other side as well I'll be doing the same thing on the other pieces as well great so this is what I have after stitching all around the pocket I'll then place it on the point I marked that's the 18 inches I marked I'll make sure the tip of the or the top of the pocket lies on the point I marked that's the 18 inches I marked great so the interval for the pocket was 1.5 inch so when we mark the center front you move the center front away to one side of the pocket is 1.5 inch great now I'll go ahead and then shape it according to the person's measurement okay some people choose so, sorry some people choose not to shape it they will just so let's say one inch or 1.5 inch straight downwards but I prefer to shape mine okay so the armhole 7.5 I'll then mark it and mark the same thing on the other side as well the best measurement for my client is 35 inches waist is 28 inches and then hip 40 after 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 marking out I will then add one inch at both sides as my ease when it comes to the hip measurement I use the same hip measurements downwards to the hem of the dress I didn't shape the hem of the dress now I'll go ahead and then sew from the armhole from the sleeves area sorry okay so from the sleeves area downwards to the hip and then to the hem please round it so that you don't get anything pointed good afterwards i'll mark from the neckline that is at the back about 20 inches downwards then i'll sew from the 20 inches to the hem of the dress great this is what i have after shaping my dress and then sewing along neatly ironed i'll then go ahead and then fix my zip great so this is what i have after fixing my zip now my dress is ready thank you all for watching my videos please like comment and then share see you all in our next video bye